right then welcome back everyone let's solve this question raspberries so i hope you have read the question once uh, but i'll quickly read it so what we are given is uh, we are given an array of all the positive integers because it's starting from one and you are given a number k which is uh, in range two to five in one operation what you can do is you can decide to increment any element by one okay so that the operation is defined and an array of positive integers is given what you need to find is uh, find the minimum number of operations such that the product of all the numbers in the array becomes divisible by k so minimum number of these operations such that product of all the uh, product of all the numbers in the array becomes divisible by k right uh, important thing to note here is you have at least two elements in your array and uh, array elements are positive so in code forces or like in computer programming in general you should always look out for constraints because you might be thinking some complicated solution but if you just look at the constraints the solution might be very easy right so the constraints give you a hint a lot of times right so don't forget uh, to look at the constraint fine so this seems to be a very easy question let's just say uh, how, how are you going to approach it what you are given is a uh, you are given an array, right? So you are you are given an array, a1, a2, so on, right? So this array you have given, and then you are given a value k. What you want is uh, how many minimum number of uh, operations? What is operation? Operation is simply ai becomes ai plus one, right? So how many minimum number of these operations? How many minimum number of these operations I should perform such that the product becomes divisible by k? Now, how do you think about this question? You can look at the examples and try to make sense out of it. Be Try to make observations on the examples itself, or uh, maybe if you are able to think directly, you can also try it. So here, like, what was the thing is I want the numbers, so I want the product basically. Uh, this is how you represent product, right? So this is how you represent product. So product of ai, what do you want? This should be divisible by mod k should be equal equals to zero. Okay. So I thought uh, this is what I want, right? So I was just thinking in some sort of abstract way without going at the examples. So I want the product of all the elements should be divisible by k. What does it mean? If any one of them is divisible by k, my job is done, right? I need not be like, see, what I want is, guys, I want to minimize the operation, right? So that is important. I want to minimize the operation. If I want to minimize the operation, I want to minimize the operation, just make, uh, just make any one, just make any one of ai, just make any one of ai to be divisible by k, right? So if you just make any one of them to be divisible by k, uh, that will consume the minimum number of operation, right? Why do you want to go and increment multiple number of them? Right, so that was one clear cut observation. Just focus on one guy, right? Instead of incrementing a lot of them, just focus on one guy and job will be done. Like I'm not saying uh, if you try to increment multiple, multiple, then you might not get minimum number of operation. But it need not be always the case, right? It need not be always the case, right? So I want to minimize. So one thing is for sure, I I want to just apply operation on one of the elements. Okay, so what will be that element? What will be that element? Now how can the product become divisible by k? How can the product become divisible by k? Uh, this is very important if there is at least one multiple if there exist at least if there exist at least one multiple if there exists at least one multiple of k then of course uh, the product will be divisible right so if you want to see an example this will be it so k equals to 3 okay so if there is at least one multiple of 3 for example if there is 3 if there is 6 if there is 9 if there is 12 if any one of these exists then the job is done right Right. So that's what I would try. I would try to make sure that there is at least one element of uh, one multiple of k existing in my array. If it is not, then I will increment some element. And which element will you increment? See, first I'll check if there is exists some, if there exists some multiple of k inside this array. If it exists, fine. You don't need to do any operation. The product is anyway multiple. The product is anyway divisible by k. But if not, what I'll do is I'll pick one guy. I'll pick one guy and increment it unless it becomes like until it becomes divisible by k. Right. So until it becomes, I'll pick one. Okay. So what I'm saying is. If k is multiple exist, then answer is zero, right? Else, pick ai, pick ai nearest to next multiple of k, right? Nearest to next multiple of k. So what I'm saying is, if you have elements like this, three, uh, five, seven, let's say maybe I just take six here and nine. And let's say k was 5. So what are you going to pick is your here I want to make all the like I want to make the product divisible by 5 right. So since 5's multiple is not existing I'll have to pick a guy I have to pick a guy which is closest to next multiple of 5. So which one of this is closest to next multiple of 5? Here the next multiple of 5 is 5 right so it is 2 distance apart. Here the next multiple of 5 is 10 right so it is 4 distance apart. Here the next multiple of 5 is uh, 10 so it is 3 distance apart. Here the next multiple of 5 is 10 which is 1 distance apart. So which one are you going to pick? You're going to pick this guy. You're gonna pick this guy and just increment it by one. So these are the minimum number of operation, right? So these are the minimum number of okay. So these are the minimum number of operation, right? 
so yeah that's the logic uh, that's what i thought like we are thinking so we have not considered all these cases right now but this was the initial like just by initially looking at the air this is what i thought if case multiple exists then anyway answer is you right if case multiple is not existing i'm gonna pick ai nearest to next multiple of k nearest to next multiple of k and uh, whatever like whatever how many uh, distance apart that element is this will be my answer right so this was my initial observation and how can you get the nearest multiple like nearest next multiple of k i guess we already discussed in 900 rated questions so we, if you have element a and if you want to get the next multiple of k it will be at distance uh, k minus a mod k so i guess this was discussed in that question exciting bets uh, i'll probably link it in the i button above but yeah if you want to find uh, the next multiple of k the nearest multiple the nearest multiple of k from a the next multiple you will have to do uh, k minus uh, a mod k so this is the distance by the way okay so the distance of the nearest multiple of k from this a will be at k minus a mod k okay so this we already know now what so this strategy seems to be working find out the find out an element which is closest to the next multiple of k and our job will be done right but we have to prove it right uh, you have to give some concrete proof or just intuitively see that this works since k values are very uh, less uh, k just lies from 2 3 4 5 we can just uh, look at the numbers and see right if we can just uh, make sure that this strategy of finding out the guy closest to the next multiple of k works then our job will be done now one thing like you can clearly observe here this 2 3 and 5 they all are primes right so they all are primes so what do you mean by prime uh, it cannot be further decomposed. A prime number can be written like this only, one into p, right? So that's a, like that's what a prime number is. You cannot further decompose it. So what it says is, uh, since this number cannot be further decomposed, if you want, if you want the product of all the elements, product of all elements will be divisible by this number p. What you want is you need to get a multiple of p. There's no other way, right? Obviously, since you cannot further decompose it, uh, if you want the product to be multiple, like product to be divisible by this, of course you need to get some multiple of uh, this p inside. So how are you gonna get it? Uh, of course. Find out the guy which is closest to the next multiple of p, right? So, in case of prime numbers, the strategy works. So, in other words, I can say the strategy works for two, three, and five. Why? Because they cannot be further decomposed. Now, if you want the product to be divisible by any one of these, of course, you need to get a multiple of any one of these. And how would you get a multiple of any one of these? Pick a guy which is closest to the next multiple of it, right? So, it works for uh, two, three, and five. But what about four? In case of four, of course, one way is uh, you can get a multiple of four inside it, and you will be able to uh, get the product divisible by four. But since 4 can be further decomposed into 2 into 2. There is other way also. What is the other way? Uh, 4, 4 can be decomposed into 2 into 2, right? So, what it says is, you get me uh, at least 2, uh, okay. You get me at least 2 2s. Or in other words, uh, how, how can you get me at least 2 2s? 2 even numbers, right? You give me at least 2 even numbers, right? You give me at least 2 even numbers. That way also I can find a 4. Okay, so in case of 4, in case of 4, so when k is 4, we have two options. Find ai closest to the next multiple of 4. This is one option. So there can be like, uh, you have to consider the distance, right? Find the distance of, uh, find ai which is closest to the next multiple of 4, right? And the second option is make at least two even numbers. Now, first, like, first option is find ai closest to the next multiple of 4. Uh, like, there can be some operation consumed here. The distance, right? Uh, however far the that element is from the next multiple of 4, uh, that will be the answer. So here, uh, it can be d. Right, so the distance of the next multiple of four, and here make at least two even numbers. So make at least two even numbers. Right, if you can get at least two even numbers, then also some operations be consumed. And our answer will be minimum of these. Right, so to make the product multiple of four, you have two options: either find ai closest to the next multiple of four, so what is the distance of that guy, and make at least two even numbers. And which one of these uh, consumes uh, less operations is your answer. Right, so let's just see uh, how can we do it. So this d anyway we are going to calculating right. So anyway for two three five we have to calculate the distance of the next like smallest distance to the next multiple so this is d we have calculated fine now what remains is how can we make at least two even numbers this is what is remaining right so how can we make at least two even numbers first we need to find out how many even numbers are there right so now what we are after is guys we want to figure out this uh, like what operation will be consumed to make at least two even numbers right so for that we of course need to know how, how many even numbers we have so let's just uh, see if let's say firstly the simplest case if even numbers are greater than equals to two if even numbers are greater than equals to two then what then anyway don't need to do any operation right so in this case so in this case operations consumed will be zero Right, so what I'm saying is if you have greater than two even numbers, what you have is you have numbers like this 2x1, 2x2, or maybe some 2x3 as well. Now, of course, when you multiply these guys, in the end you will get 4 into x1, x2. Right, so you got a multiple of 4, right? So, product is multiple of 4, fine. So, when even numbers are greater than equal to 2, you don't need to do any operation, right? That's one thing. And uh, now let's just take an example when you have only one even number. When you have only one even number, uh, when you have only one even number, what will be that? What will be it? So, that even number can be multiple of 4. Uh, can be multiple of 4 but in that case uh, this distance will be evaluated to 0 right so when that number when you only have one even number it will be multiple of 4 this d will be 0 and the distance of the next multiple will be 0 
Okay, otherwise, if it is not the case, then what you are going to do? Like, since we are only concerned about, I want to make at least two even numbers, forget about the case, uh, whether like it will be multiple of four or not. I just want to make two even numbers to get the product to be four. So how can you do it? So if you have odd, 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 and just one even, how can you make one more guy? Like, how can you get one more even? Just add one to, add one to an odd number and now you get two even numbers, right? So here, only one operation will be consumed. Right, just convert one odd number to even number. Now you have two even numbers and again, the product will be divisible by four. Fine, simple. And last but not least, when you have zero even numbers. So in this case, what will happen? When you have zero even numbers, when you have zero even numbers, of course, you need to convert two of the odd numbers to even numbers. Right, so now you don't have any even numbers, only odds. So of course, you have to convert two of them to even numbers by adding one to it. So two operations will be consumed. Two operations will be consumed, right? So this is the case. Uh, this is the case when we are trying to make four, when you are trying to make four using two even numbers, right? And uh, this D will calculate when we are trying to find the nearest next multiple, like we are trying to find a A which is closest to the next multiple of 4. Right? So what we are going to do is, first we are going to get this D. First we are going to get this D. And then we are going to get uh, this operation 0, 1 and 2 depending on how many even numbers are there. And we are going to take minimum of them. Right? So that's that. Uh, I just quickly code it up. So then maybe if there is something left, I will discuss while coding. But I guess I have discussed everything that I want to discuss. Okay guys, uh, let's quickly code up the solution. I have already taken the input here. Now, first things first, what we need is we need to find out that element which is closest to the next multiple of k. The distance, basically, what how far that element is. So let's do it. So I'll initialize the answer or let me just call it d to k minus 1 because in the worst case, an element can be uh, an element can be k minus 1 distance apart. Otherwise, uh, it will be multiple, right? It will be multiple of k. And so and uh, I can I also have to maintain how many number of events are there for uh, checking uh, like the when the product has to be made multiple of 4. So I also need even counts. Maybe I can call it e count and very good name, right? <laughs> but frankly, it doesn't really matter when you do competitive programming. Uh, okay, i less than n, i plus plus. And uh, first things first, if uh, area of i is even, if area of i is even, then uh, increment this even count, right? Now what next? Uh, we need to find out the distance. Right? We, what we are after is we want to minimize the distance to the next multiple of k. So what I can do is uh, I can check if area of i mod k equal equals to zero. It means the multiple of k exists. In this case, the nearest like the distance will be zero, right? The distance to the next multiple of k, the nearest distance, the smallest distance to the next multiple of k would be zero. Fine. Otherwise, uh, you can write d equals to minimum of d. And what is the distance of this current guy from the next multiple of k? So it is k minus area of i mod k. Right. So pretty simple stuff here. I'm just going through the entire array. Uh, I'm counting how many even numbers are there and uh, updating this d with the distance, smallest distance to the next multiple of k. Right. So that's what I'm doing. And uh, in the end, uh, firstly, if uh, k is not equal to k is uh, not equal to four, your answer will be simply d, right? If k is not equal to uh, four, then answer will be d. Else, uh, even numbers come into picture, right? Now, if count, like if even count, now if this is the case where k is false. Even count is greater than equals to two. Uh, what does it mean? If you have more than two even numbers, two or more than two even numbers, then your answer is zero. The product is anyway divisible by four. Else, if uh, even count, uh, even count is one. If even count is one, uh, now this can be either four, like this can be a multiple of four or any other even number, right? If it is a, any other even number, then you're gonna pick one more or like one odd number and convert it to even, and now the job is done. And if it is a multiple of four, then answer will be zero. So here you can write it like minimum of, we are just taking minimum of two things, right? So minimum of D and one, right? That's what we're doing, right? So this D, if four multiple exists, then this D will be zero. And uh, anyway, if it's not existing, then one will be the answer, right? In final case, else uh, when you don't have any even numbers, we don't have any even numbers, you need to convert two odd numbers to even, right? So two and D. Uh, why D here? Uh, see, if no even numbers exist, like uh, you can have numbers uh, like this, right? You can have numbers like this also, three, five, uh, seven. So in this case, uh, this D should dominate, right? So here your answer should be one because just by incrementing three by one, you should you are getting it, right? But if you have odd numbers of this sort, for example, 13, uh, 17, then in this case, the answer should be two, right? That's the main idea. Okay, fine. So I guess that's that. Uh, let me just quickly run it. It seems to be working. Let me just quickly submit it. I guess there is some issue with the code forces servers right now. But anyway, uh, this will work. Uh, anyway, in which way, I'll uh, give you the accepted solution in the description. So if there is some discrepancy, you can check it. But I am very sure, like 99.9% sure this solution works. But anyway, I'll paste the accepted solution in the description box. Fine. I'll see you in the next one.